A um, yes. couple of notes that popped up in here. One is sometimes you may need to get biometrics while in immigration court. That's a little bit of a headache. Could you talk about that? Yes, and this is necessary. So your client always, in any type of application, whether you're in court or not, the government wants to get your client's fingerprints to make sure they don't have any, you know, they're not wanted by Interpol or they're not some international, you know, criminal. So if you do not, if your client does not comply with biometric requests, the judge can see that as an abandonment of even trying to fix your case and can give you a removal order. So usually what happens, yeah, you show up in court and the government, they're kind of responsible for serving you with biometrics instructions. And these biometric instructions, you can find them online and they're a part part of the outline, but it's essentially, it's a document that's titled um, certain inst instructions for filing certain applications in immigration court. Mm -hmm. So it, it, get, it tells you exactly, okay, what application are you filing? This is what you need to file and you file it with USCIS along with the fee of the application. So I-589, there's no fee, but cancellation of removal, it's a hundred dollars, I believe. So you have to submit the application for uh, cancellation of removal, the fee, and a G28, mm -hmm. and the instructions. And so USCIS will provide you a receipt and then give your client a uh, fingerprint notice date. And so you always, always have to do this for every case that you're litigating in court. Thank you for listening to this episode. For previous episodes and more, please visit the podcast page of our website, immigrationlawyerstoolbox.com. You can also visit the Toolbox YouTube and LinkedIn pages to catch the video versions of these podcasts, news updates, and a lot more. Immigration lawyers can also contact me to join the private Facebook page. The email is info at immigrationlawyerstoolbox.com.